Hey guys, so today we're gonna take the trailer in a box that we built the other day, modify it, because I don't need a boat trailer, I don't need a jet ski trailer, and I sure as I don't need a kayak trailer. We're gonna make it into just a flatbed utility trailer with some sides so that I can take it camping, things like that, just because sometimes we take the SUV, I can't fit that much in there. And my wife likes to take four dogs with us everywhere we go. So, need the trailer to carry the stuff. All right, we're gonna be assembling a simple ladder bar style framework for the bottom. I've cut two pieces at 66 inches and eight pieces at 38. Overall, when we assemble this, it should come out to 66 by 40. So I'm using one inch tubing, 065 wall. I know a lot of you guys are gonna freak it. It's too light, it's too light for a trailer. This is a camping trailer. It's carrying tents, sleeping bags. We don't need the strength in it. It's easier to keep it light, so. All right, we're just gonna square this up, tack weld it up, go from there. Alright guys, well yesterday what we did is we got the main tub, I'm gonna call it a tub, because right, that's what it looks like, a big tub that goes in the trailer, all tacked up with the shelves on the sides, everything. Now, what I'm doing today is time to take a little more custom, okay? What's the main thing you do when you camp? Cook. Alright, pretty much when you go with us, it's barbecuing with tents is what it calls. That's all we seem to do is cook. We barbecue this and that and other. So, I've got a nice grill. It's gas, but whatever. That my wife had out back, we don't use it anymore, and it's a great shape. So we're gonna mount this on the trailer, so we've got a grill with us everywhere we go. Now, I've decided to actually put it on the front of the trailer. The reason I'm doing that is for tongue ways of this thing will totally even better. And we'll mount it sideways, so you stand this way, you're not gonna have to stand over the tongue when you're trying to cook. So we're gonna put it right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and build some room on the other side, because why not? And I think we need a water storage area, so. Let's get to it, we're gonna build out a frame. All right guys, we're trying to wrap this project up tonight. Now what we're doing is putting the wood onto the trailer. Um, you could use sheet metal if you want it, but wood's cheaper. Um, I went and priced out two by four or one by fours, and they're like $5 each for some reason. So I kept looking, looking for a cheaper alternative, and I found fence planks. Now, they're not as strong, 
but I come on, I frame this thing out like crazy. All we gotta do is screw them down. So, and I wanna use plywood because it rods too easy. So, fence planks, $1.90 each. Works great. So we're cutting the length, screwing them down in here. Now we're using a button head self tapper. So what we're doing is drilling the wood to the right size, and that way the self tapper goes in, goes straight into the metal without digging in the wood. It's going in nice and easy. It's just time consuming a lot of screws. So we're gonna keep cutting these planks down and lining the whole inside with them. Look, L brackets are like $1.50 to $2 each. So if you go over to the framing section, these brackets, 50 cents each. So if you just need an L bracket for something, don't, don't buy the fancy one. You can go get this, does the same thing for 50 cents. All right guys, that was a feat cutting that hole because uh, my jigsaw's at work. So, yeah. Saw's at work, we did it. Um, next thing's gonna be to mount the water pump to transfer from the jugs to the wash bowl. So, we've got a pump, it's a 12 volt transfer pump. We've used it before for other things. Works great. We're putting a car battery, we're putting a battery on the trailer and that, so. All right, before I button this up. We've got a 12 volt transfer pump coming up, going into the bottles. So this part here is going to go out, and then we're going to make a spigot for the sink. We're good, so let's go ahead and close it up. Alright, guys, well, there you have it. We're all done and wrapped up. A couple little tweaks I'll do in the morning before we take off, but. It's all done. So I'll do a little walk around now and show you guys the trailer. All right. On this side, we've got two five gallon holding tanks. So 10 gallons, our electric pumps in there. Here's our sink. I've got to drill some holes and finish it. Our cargo area to carry everything. On this side, we've got our grilling station, propane. And I've left these extra benches double wide on top to be able to put our stove and just countertops. So it's nine o'clock at night. We got to pack it now, but uh, you know I got four days camping. I'll do a few tweaks on it then. But what we've got is we're taking a pretty much useless to us trailer that we had no use for that we got for free, built it out, made our camping trailer. We've got a barbecue station everything on it so we can haul all our stuff with us nice and easy when we get back leave the camping gear in it so no it was something different guys but i'll still i'll throw up some pics now of the actual trip